Hey guys, Brian and I are going to spend at least part of a Sunday together, which is super rare lately. We're usually both working separately, um, but we are getting in the car to go have some breakfast tacos at our favorite place. Say hi, B. Hi, B. <laughs> so, um, we're going to go have some breakfast tacos, and then where are we going? Uh, we're going to go check in with a guy about buying a lot. Yeah, exactly. So we have a lead on a lot in this neighborhood that we really like because um, we are thinking about building a house. And so uh, we're gonna go check in with him in person and see if he is interested in selling. That was so delicious. Um, that is our new favorite taco place. And uh, it's called Valdez Tacos and Tortas. And it, if you live in the Fort Worth area, it is in River Oaks. Um, and uh, I found it one morning, maybe, what babe, like four months ago? Mm -hmm. Four, six months ago? Um, I was driving around on a Sunday looking for breakfast tacos because that sounded really good. And I was going to go to Northside where there are a lot of really good taco places. And I decided to go to this place kind of on the way and stopped there because it said tacos and torches outside and it looked to be open. And got the best barbacoa tacos. Um, and they also, I mean, they have all sorts of things like breakfast tacos and regular tacos. Brian gets this thing, what do you, what do you call it? Uh, beef steak ranchero. And what is it? It's, uh... It's kind of like steak meat with some vegetables and rice and beans and it's just all kinds of deliciousness. Yeah, it's really good. Um, and they have menudo and it's really, really good and really kind of authentic. You know, not like Tex-Mexy. It's really yummy. Um, so I had barbacoa and chorizo uh, tacos and um, a Coke because the real kinds of Cokes in the glass bottles are the best. headed out to Keller, Texas, which is probably 30 minutes, 25 minutes outside of Fort Worth, um, to visit this guy about his lot that we're interested in and see if he wants to sell it to us. What do you think, babe? I think that sounds like fun. <laughs> I was just chiding Brian about being natural when I'm like vlogging with him and he is saying that it's hard to act natural. <laughs> why? Because you don't like a camera shoved in your face? That's why actors and actresses get paid a lot of money because not everybody can act normal when you have a camera shoved up your face. I know, but this isn't a movie, babe. I'm just like videoing you on my iPhone. Okay, well, you know, going back to that comment I made earlier about if you want to be natural, I don't think you're going to like natural. <laughs> Silly.
just went to the nursery at Lowe's to check out some plants for the Crosby project because we were getting ready to landscape and so we were trying to decide what we're going to put where and honestly both of us and you can vouch me we sort of both have a black thumb so landscaping is sort of not our thing so we were walking around aimlessly like idiots not knowing what to get I mean I know what I like as far as landscaping goes but I'm an interior designer and I mean that very seriously interior I mean I do exteriors like paint colors but you know I can tell you what I like on landscaping but I'm not good at I'm not a landscape designer and Brian should have inherited it because his dad was a landscape architect but you didn't inherit it either did you you have kind of a black thumb too I don't do plants yeah so uh, now we're heading to get my oil change because I desperately need one and um, right B yeah, your car's only about 3,000 miles overdue. Um, and then we're going to go look at another nursery. Brian's making fun of me because this is one of those oil change places where you stay in your car, but it's August and we had just been outside at the nursery and I wanted to come inside. And so they don't even have like an inside, it's like, well they have it inside, it's like one office. You think I'm ridiculous that I wanted to come inside? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> dollars a piece okay that's 96 so are you thinking like just a row of those based about three feet apart yeah and then just some stuff in front some little little guys I think eight is overkill because we do have some shrubbery in there well there's that holly thing that I want to take out because it looks gangly and weird okay and then those there's that where are that Nandina and that other thing yeah which I don't know how you're if you're gonna move those or what your plan is there my plan was to keep them I think let's do the grasses. Okay. Maybe start with five, see how that goes. And then let's find something to put in front of them. We are at a carniceria, uh, which we are going to get some barbacoa meat because um, I'm going to try my hand at doing barbacoa in the crock pot. And B is very excited. Making man snacks. <laughs> okay, here's my pot of barbacoa. I just covered the meat in onions, garlic, and a few spices, and then water. And I have it on slow cook. Uh, I have it on eight hours, so it's only been going for a few minutes. Hey, Trumpers, are you excited about the dog park? What do you think, Corgi? Are you waiting for your dad to get dressed? Say he's taking forever. Okay, let's go. Oh, we go. We're going nuts. I know. Guys. They're so, so excited. Guys, where are we going? Hey, Trammel, are we going to the dog park? Bye, guys. Do you have any ideas? Oh, I don't think we're taking any corgis there, Tram. I don't know. Oh, where did he go? Did he leave without you? No. He didn't leave without you. Hopefully not. We'll see. What do you think, Tram? What do you think, Trumpy? What do you guys think? Did he leave without you? He did. That's pretty sad. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, he's really leaving without you guys. It's very sad.